Billy Case. What do you want? Detective Chief Inspector Meadows. I'm arresting you for GBH. GB what? The fight two nights ago on the Jasmine Allen. You left a man for dead. I was never there. We'll talk about it at the station. You nicked. You don't have to say anything unless you wish to do so, but what you do say may be giving in evidence. He just told you. He wasn't even there. Chris? Like you said, he wasn't even here. A word, Mrs. Guest. I don't believe this is happening. Well, it is. So get your brain in gear. We have a witness who saw you, Billy. He saw you taunting and verbally abusing Mr. Kerr in order to provoke him into a fight. You had a spat with Mr. Kerr, and then he started calling him names, didn't you, Billy? No comment. You see, I think you were insulting and taunting Mr. Kerr, but he wasn't willing to fight, was he? He tried to get past you, went back towards his own house, yes? And then you struck him on the back of the head, didn't you? You might have lot yourselves or something. No. Well, it's rubbish. Tell us what did happen, then. No comment. Right, how about after you'd knocked Mr. Kerr to the ground? You kicked him, didn't you? And not just the once. You gave him a right going over. Leaving him with severe bruising, fracturing of the rib cage, extensive injuries to the internal organs. Can you say that again in English? Maybe you'll understand it better in pictures. Exhibit PH1. PH2. PH3. Well? I told you I didn't do it. So what about this one? Now showing suspect exhibit four. You cut his face open, didn't you, Billy? You scarred him for life. You took his eye out. Well? None of that is down to me, OK? Well, you recognise him, don't you? Billy, if you didn't do it, you've nothing to be afraid of. Remember what we talked about? I know. What do you mean, you know? But it's not true. I've got nothing to be afraid of talking to you. You mean you're afraid of someone else? Mr. Deakin, my client has already told you that he doesn't wish to answer the allegations made against him. There's nothing to be gained by trying to browbeat and intimidate him. Well, someone assaulted this man. Someone knifed him in the eye and left him for dead. And if it wasn't you, Billy, I don't think you should be protecting whoever it was. I don't have to say anything. Well, that's right. All right, Billy, you play your way. You'll have plenty of time to reconsider. Charging me? No, not yet. We've got further inquiries to make. You can wait in the cells. Gov, message from the East London Hospital. John Kerr. Has he pulled through? Great, thanks. So is the witness. Oh, don't worry, Billy. You'll have to tell us that in due course. It's his wife, innit? Mrs Kerr. Do you know her? Of course, she's trying to fit me out. She hates me. Why's that? I don't know, do I? What about her husband? Do you know him? I ain't saying nothing. Billy! Your mum's here to see you. Billy. How are you? Fine. They are feeding you. You're not too cold. The lad's been asking about me. I told them you was here. You've done a GBH? No. Well, that's what it says out there. What's going on? Black geezer lives over on Park Mead and a couple of days ago was giving the lad some smart answers. And you fought with him? No, Mum. It's his wife, Mrs Kerr, the teacher from school. She's picking on me. Well, did you tell them? No, or a lot of people would be coming in for the same grief as me. Do you see what I'm saying? No, Billy. I wish I did, but I don't. So, what's next? You are going to kill someone? Mum, I didn't do it. I wasn't the one. Look at me. You wouldn't lie to me, would you, Billy? I've got to get to work now. You're going to be there in court, aren't you? I'll try. You'll tell the lads, won't you? You see what's happening, don't you? How do you mean, Mrs Case? He's covering for them. His mates did it, and now he is going to pay the penalty. That Mrs. Kerr, his teacher, she never liked Billy. She always blamed him, not any of the others. I'm afraid it's nothing to do with me. I'm not involved. Same as all the others. Can't see what's staring you in the face. Right, 
Shut it. Have you been disturbing you? I'm asleep anyway. What happened? Drunken punch up. It will be forgotten tomorrow. Um, can I ask you a question? Yeah. If they don't give me bail, they take me straight to prison, right? Remind me, yeah. I had a mate on my mind a few months back and yeah. he hadn't done anything either and they dropped the case before it got to court. Do you reckon they might do that to me? No. That woman's statement, the one she gave against me, she just made it all up. Did you say that in your interview? I gave no comment. Well, that's not giving yourself much of a chance, is it? Brief said it would be the best thing to do so as not to implicate myself or anybody else. So you're covering up for somebody? I ain't covering up for no one. My mates would do the same for me. Well, I don't see many of them in here. Do you stitch up on me? Would you? Defendant, please rise. Mr. Case, after due consideration of the facts, application for bail is refused because I have substantial grounds to believe that you would fail to attend the next hearing. You will be remanded in custody.